Hi, I'm Ray, founder of Credo. We make media to advance the ideals of 21st century work. One of our areas of focus is on the future of cities. Information is power. And before we can begin the work of improving our cities, we need more information about how they're being used. How many people are there? How do they move across the city? How do they use sidewalks and public spaces? What are their meaningful rhythms and patterns? Basically, if we want to make cities better in the future, all roads start and end with the people. Where are they and how are they using the space around them? This is why we're putting the spotlight on density. They are creating technology that measures how people are using space so that we can start making better use of the spaces we have. If New York only knew how it was used in real time and historically with extraordinary accuracy, if you could just snap your fingers in New York, all of a sudden knew how it was used, would it design itself differently? This is Andrew Farah, co-founder and CEO of Density. They built a device to count and measure people in physical space. And they believe that if we can get this device into every relevant room in the world, we will have the information we need to reshape it. The journey to reshape the world, funny enough, started in a coffee shop in upstate New York, especially in Syracuse, extremely cold. We ran a design consultancy and web application development and product development. About five blocks away was our favorite coffee shop, a place called Cafe Kubal. And we would always hit a line and we would have walked five blocks through negative 20 with the wind chill and two and a half feet of snow. And it just seemed kind of ridiculous that uh, there was an API for the weather, but there wasn't an API for how busy a place was. We assumed it was going to be a weekend project. I, I can say six and a half years later, it was definitely not a weekend project. Six years and several iterations later, and today Density's people counting platform combines cutting edge hardware and software to anonymously measure how people are using space. One of their core tenants is privacy. And so the device is not a camera. And what the sensors see is where things get interesting. The entry sensor placed at doorways uses computer vision and captures depth data to count people as they move through choke points in a building. It's a cool technology, but the open area sensor takes it to a whole new level. It uses an internally built radar technology to measure people in unbounded space. See those people up top while the radar sensor below is registering their movements as flickering dots in 3D space. These sensors can be placed on a ceiling in any room, and here's how the user makes sense of it. What's cool is all of this is editable. Essentially place a device onto your floor plan, and those blue dots, there are these little blue flickering dots that you'll see, that's me. So I'm, I'm actually showing you live, install the device above uh, my, my head, and what's really cool is I can create digital spaces. If I move uh, backwards, I'm on a couch right now, uh, kind of tethered to my laptop, but you can actually see that we fill up that particular digital asset. If I decide to move to a, uh, a chair, it should light up, I can't really see my screen. The cool thing is that if we zoom out, you can actually see the amount of time that each of these spaces were used. With this technology, users can create zones to measure the utilization of anything from a conference room to a chair or couch. Sensors can be added to increase coverage and spaces can be created within spaces for contiguous measurement. Essentially, this is a tool for anyone to map space and measure usage in real time. And this is all done in a way that's non-invasive. Think of these sensors in the common areas of large tech companies, universities, and hotels. Any company with a lot of people and a lot of space that want to enhance performance. Today, companies are using density to manage real-time occupancy for safer workplaces, to increase performance by understanding usage and to save costs by knowing the utilization of their space, an area where today there's surprisingly little insight into. Roughly 41% of all leased or owned corporate office space in the US is vacant but paid for. That's 10.9 billion square feet of leased or owned corporate office space in the US, like in the US alone, and 4.4 billion is empty. Clearly a lot of waste and room for improvement here. Corporate real estate is a great beachhead market, but it's the fulfillment of Density's vision that I'm most encouraged by. If they succeed, what profound second and third order effects could result? Maybe we build less and positively affect the climate. Maybe we reallocate underutilized space to those who are in greater need of it. Perhaps we use the knowledge to shape more creative and serendipitous workspaces in the future. Built surface of the earth is unmeasured. And if you could figure out how to measure all relevant human space, so not just corporate office, but all relevant human space in a way that is non-invasive, it's real time, that's extremely accurate, um, all the things that you just suggested start to become possible. The thing that's most exciting about that is it goes back to the founding principle of the business. Um, the night that we could count the number of people that were in a bar without having to be there and sort of this logical conclusion of what happens at a city scale or at a 
uh, eastern seaboard scale or a global scale. And as long as humans uh, continue to build buildings, continue to use space in any material capacity, there is no future in which humans don't eventually figure out how all of this space is used.